Saving enough for retirement can be a challenge, especially if you're retiring as a single person. Yeah, with more Americans passing on marriage, there is a whole new generation of people approaching solo retirement. So here with some insight on the realities of retiring single is our money expert, Bruce Helmer. Bruce, thanks for coming. Good morning. Out. You know, for some people, this is maybe divorce leads them to retire mm -hmm. solo. For others, it's just they were always single, right? Yeah, maybe they, uh, more and more people are choosing not to get married sure. or maybe uh, their, their spouse is deceased. And whether you're widowed or whether you're divorced, how you plan is going to be very different than if you were never married. For example, Social Security. If I was married, but now I'm not, I may be able to participate in my ex-spouse's benefit, but if I was never married, then my choice in how to take Social Security is going to be much more straightforward. Sure. Obviously, you're not saving for two people if you're retiring single, but you only have one income to go into that retirement Great plan point, as well. Matt. Good news, bad news. It, it takes less to live for a single person than two people, but you're also only one person to save and invest for your retirement. So I think having an emergency fund becomes even more important mm. because everyone should have one anyway, even yeah. if you're married or single, but if you're married and you don't have as much as you should in your emergency fund, maybe you can rely on your partner, sure. but if there's no partner there and there's no emergency fund, what do you do when you need money? Bruce, do you think people overestimate how much cheaper it's going to be to live as a single person? I mean, your rent isn't that much lower. I, I, I don't think your costs go in half. No, that's a great point. I think mm. there is a tendency to do that. Now, there's some things that may go away, and I think of things like long-term care insurance or life insurance. Maybe we want those things to protect our spouse and or our children. If we don't have a spouse, then maybe the motivation is not as great. Sure. But we still maybe have other loved ones, other relatives, nieces, nephews, siblings, parents. So we still may want those might, things. Yeah. yeah, so the idea that those costs just go away, for some people maybe, but for a lot of people, they probably don't. Are there any special considerations on retiring single because of divorce? Um, the big thing that I would think of off the top of my head again is Social Security because if you were married for 10 years but now you're not married to that person you may be el eligible to uh, uh, participate in their Social Security benefit huh. so that's something that you know, even again, after divorce yeah wow. and, and the Social Security Administration estimates almost three-fourths of all people don't maximize their benefits so that's a trickier decision than people think it is especially if you are married or were married if you were never married huh. then it's gonna be a lot easier what about health care as a single retiree your costs are probably higher than if you had a, a, a dual plan yeah, insurance. yeah, and again, that's one of those issues that if you had it as a benefit, or if your spouse mm -hmm. did, and, and there is you're no their spouse, plan, it, yeah. yep. The big, the big thing that happens is, is whether you're married or single. If you retire before 65, you've got a bridge to till 65 when you're eligible for Medicare. Which again, if you're single or solo and you retire before 65, how do you figure out how to bridge that gap? This is a lot of stuff to think about, but the truth is, like, if life goes in a certain direction and you end up retiring as a single person, you still have a lot of years to have a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> Get on Tinder, live it up. I don't know. Absolutely. It's not all gloom and doom. Uh, no, and a lot if of financial planning. People are living longer, they're healthier, like a, it's great. A lot of financial planning, whether you're single, married, man, woman, a lot of the basics always remain the same. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, you can see Bruce here on Mid Morning, and he'll have all his Tinder thoughts as well every <laughs> Tuesday. You can get more financial advice on your money on WCCO Radio. You can tune in Sunday mornings from 8.30 to 9.30. If you do have a financial question, you can call that number, 888-6-ADVICE. Just leave a message, and your question might be answered on Bruce's show. Bruce, thanks. Thank you.